Hi everyone, so this is an example of systematic review done by the team. Uh, Sushma and our team members are listed here. So these are the authors and then they selected the title for their uh, systematic review and uh, study. So the background is done by the two of them. They usually we want you to identify one or two key points to uh, highlight the importance of your topic, the impact of your topic, and why it's uh, important for the reader to do the, uh, this study. Then you identify the gap. So we want to aim for studying the uh, knowledge in this area. The method, usually you want to identify which database in this uh, poster they studied PubMed, so they used certain keywords uh, to, to identify the studies. And this is done by two reviewers, and they were doing the extraction independently. So they completed the task, and they found out there are 229 studies qualified for the study. So after applying the inclusion criteria or exclusion, uh, they ended up with uh, final 12 studies. So they reviewed the 12 studies, and this is what they found. So uh, different members will work on reading the full abstract of the papers of these uh, studies, and then they summarize their uh, findings in these studies. They highlight whoever, uh, whichever done in these studies. So the results will be summarized in this manner. And then the discussion, which include the highlight or summary of what they found and the key point of the take home message and what the um, future direction, if any. So the conclusion will uh, be one or two points where you want to summarize uh, all this uh, work and then uh, what else can be done in the future. Uh, usually you will find some additional gaps that you want to study further. This poster uh, will be added like uh, if we need some graphs or we will add some uh, support like if this is funded by and then uh, some references and the QR code will be added. Oh, actually the QR code was added up there. So it's how you uh, develop or design the poster for publication. Thank you.